I, I minus the sale lead payoff, and that gives me my foreclosure equity. So, and I do that from the new fair market value, not the seller fair market value. Once I triangulate the value and use the law of average and get that new fair market value that I did, that I did in trust and verify, I will subtract the um, senior payoff from that. Or do 80% of that, right? So there's a lot of stuff, the bar social, you might you know, have on the tape that address. I'm looking for, there's a cold bar. I like to buy loans with the cold bar instead of just a borrower because now I can go after two people instead of one, right? Even if they separate it, the husband and wife still signed the note, so both of them are obligated. All right, so I like to look at that when I see tapes. Maybe military status, you cannot foreclose on someone who's active in the military. So maybe you might want to do due diligence on military status. We don't do them on all our loans. We may take a handful, but you can do that as well. Bankruptcy status, I'm going to check on that. I'll put a comment section. So if I'm going through the credits, I'll put comments. Like I was just going over the phone with the young lady who I was analyzed a few minutes ago. And I was telling her, you know, add that in the comment section if you guys heard me on the phone. Um, so when I'm analyzing that, she do all the due diligence, and I analyze, I look at the comments, and I start subtracting loans from that, right? Status of the first, that should actually be number one. But there's a column that has status of the first. 